Launch Unify app. No devices can be discovered since we are not connected to the access point. To gain access we need to scan the QR code at the back of the device. Tap on the plus sign to start. Unify app will decode the default network name and password from the QR code. You can copy the name, but you will need a pen and paper to write down the password. Take care of the case of the letters and differences between zeros and O's, for example. Close the Unify app. Move to Settings app and Wi-Fi settings. Choose the Network Other. Paste the name of the network, set the security to WPA2 and type the password. Now we are connected to the access point. Return to Unify app. Now you can see the access point in Discover Devices. It has received an IP address from the DHCP server. First set up the general settings. Tap the gears at the top to start. Set up a username and password for administration. This is not yet the credential for network access, but for management. Don't use UBNT or admin, they are too easy to guess. I'm using home and admin PW1 here, but don't you use them. Choose the location. The country setting affects many WLAN parameters like available channels and transmit power. Tap done to return to home screen. Tap the access point row to see its settings. Tap configure to change the settings. Tap WLAN to set up the network. 2 and 5 GHz networks are set up independently. If you want to use both, just give them the same name or SSID and the same security key. I'm using HomeNet and Password1 as an example here, don't you use them. Turn on the 5 GHz network and use the same settings. Change security to WPA2 Personal so you can type in the same security key. When the networks have the same name and password, the clients will use them as a single network, but you need to configure them separately. Return to Configure screen. Tap Radios to change the radio settings, channels, channel widths, and transmit powers. You can also turn off either band if you want to. It's a good practice to turn down the transmit power to medium or even low if you, the access points are close to each other. Return to Configure screen and tap Save at the top. The settings are transferred to the access point and it will restart, which will take a while. The default network we have been using so far disappears and is replaced by our new network, HomeNet, in this case. We need to join this new network to continue. Return to home screen. The other access point has appeared. It is in pending state, ready to be configured. You need to repeat the same configuration steps, same WLANs, passwords, transmit power, etc. Tap configure to at the top to beginning.
Tap save when you are done and the other access point will restart. Our network of two access points is now ready for service.